This is the story of one of the deciduous forest's greatest things ever, the Irvine. But not just any story, the A true Hollywood story. When the Irvine was born, it began to realize that it had sharp claws and could dart around faster than ever. A threat to other animals? Probably. But then again, the Irvine is one of the most ferocious killers this world has ever seen. You could crush that runt with your tail, but you couldn't because he was just too fast. Hey there, it's Ernie, and welcome to Ernie the Ermine Show. I'm your host, of course, Ernie. I'm an Ermine. Ermines are weasels. Of course, his fearsome just went straight to his head. He just ate too much, eating and eating. He ate my brother. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? People are starting to lose interest in the Ermine. Just because he could run fast and was all slender, didn't mean he had to show off. Of course, we never told him, because he, you know, he would eat us. The Ermine, though, would definitely stick up for himself. He wouldn't con let the other animals control him. I will eat whatever I want. You people cannot control me. <laughs> Little did the Ermine know, he would have to face even awful problems. Snobby, rich, jerks. We just won the fair, okay? He didn't have to bite us, I mean, come on. The Irmines protest against using him for fur would not pay off due to the tragic events that followed. As no one saw it, a new predator would prepare to step in line. The Owl. The good news was is that the Owl preyed on the Ermine, but the bad news was that the Ermine preyed on us. Am I sad I ate him? No. I had a party the night he died. Not to mourn him, but to celebrate the fact we won't have to see him again. <laughs> the Ermine will still be remembered. Oh, and by the way, uh, there is more than one Ermine. I mean, it's not like there was only one. I mean, there's probably about a thousand more out there. I didn't want to lead you down the path that there was only one alive. That would be silly.